Welcome back everyone. Here we are um, on our last uh, episode we learned that there are uh, two well we met two groups of people. Uh, we recently met the Lion Guard. Um, they are similar to the Seraph but instead of protecting divinity they protect lion's arch uh, their interests it's in the name lion guard lion's arch so it makes sense easy to remember we also met uh, someone from the priory and um, that person was here or is here in the swamp investigating trying to learn about the um, temple of the ages so and, and they were reading a book so they're they're scholars and uh, they are into learning and um, you know, they're like bookworms and historians, I suppose. <clears throat> um, one of the things I would like to do uh, today is um, spend some of my traits on the discipline, which gives me a critical damage and increases burst recharge by 10% uh, I'm gonna spend uh, 10 points and we gain fast hands weapon swapping recharges faster and also we get to pick something here uh, we have sharpened axis critical hits with axis grant extra adrenaline reduces recharge on axe skills um, currently we're not using axis we uh, switched uh, we're gonna learn uh, rifle and hammer if you remember uh, mobile strikes movement skills break immobilize removes immobile actually that is an excellent um, I hate being uh, immobile so keep that one in mind Vigorous focus. Gain vigor when using a stance. Mm. We already have a signal of mastery. Sweet revenge. Vengeance has an increased chance to rally. Hopefully you don't have to use that. Uh, destruction of the empowered. Deal bonus damage per boon on your target. Um, no, thank you. Mighty defenses. You gain might when you block an attack. If we were using a shield, that would be more useful, I think. Thrill of the kill. Gain extra adrenaline on a kill. Warrior Sprint. You move faster while wielding melee weapons. I like that one, actually. Inspiring Shouts. Gain Adrenaline when using a Shout. We have a Shout equipped, so let's go with that one. And um, let's continue on. We um, have uh, several places pending that we won't be able to see <laughs> anytime soon considering how many there are. But uh, for example, when we helped a farmer a while back, she mentioned that her husband had died when he had uh, headed to Beetleton to do uh, some sort of delivery. So she takes care of the farm on her own now. Uh, so Beetleton is on our list of places to see. We also learned that there was, we made a lady who was practicing a marathon running type uh, because she wanted to go... Oh, and I forget what uh, the town was right now. For great but... Uh, if it comes to mind anyways that's another uh, town we want to go to at some point 
Um, we have visited Lion's Arch uh, very quickly because coming back from uh, being basically asleep for 250 years, uh, the one town that was a main human town back then was uh, Lion's Arch, so I need to go there. Just getting started. Um, however, we haven't really spent too much time. Uh, uh, we didn't really get to see what Lion's Arch has become, so seeing how we met uh, the Lion's Guard recently, um, that uh, is also a uh, town that we want to visit. Um, also we helped a rancher uh, who makes hamburgers or charburgers and mentioned uh, the Black Citadel that is also um, places we want to visit and uh, more recently um, there is a apparently a monastery nearby where they make beer according to uh, a person we met at the Lion Guard post and uh, they get shipments of beer from that place so now as we have been killing things here we've unlocked uh, aimed shot fire a precise shot that cripples your foe damage 78 cripples minus 50% movement speed Combo finisher, physical projectile. The main skill is fire a shot that bleeds your target. So, uh, a, uh, a using a rifle causes bleeding. Almost ready. And we just unlocked brutal shot. Uh, shoot your foe and make them vulnerable. Uh, damage 135, vulnerability for 14 and a half seconds, 8% incoming damage. So if we make them vulnerable, we break in their armor, make, uh, allowing us to do more damage. The range is 1200 and there's a combo finisher, uh, finisher of pr physical projectile. The other skill we just learned was volley. Fire a volley of shots at your foe. Uh, damage 5 times 675, combo finisher physical projectile 20% chance. The range of 1200. Now, here are some uh, friendly Ettons. Let's see if they talk. What you looking at? With all the centaurs gone, you Ettons will control the land again. Help Krug drive them out. Me like having hoof fists. Give me something to punch. Though I have something to punch right now. Well, that sure did not work. Now we can fight for real. Make them vulnerable. Dodge out of the way. Come on, no. Shake it off. And then do a volley of shots. Yeah, that's more like it. Can evade some of those attacks. Learn rifle shot. Uh, uh, sorry, rifle butt. <laughs> Push your foe back with your rifle butt. Damage 301, knockback 400, range 130. Well, um, and we just. Uh, well, let's talk to this other Etten here that is uh, also not hostile. What you want with Ettens? I do want to increase my dignity because I am a uh, noble. So, if you help Krug fight centaurs, he might be willing to help you with something. Ha ha! Oh. We didn't quite get to see. And so. It looks like. Um. We can talk Almost some of these Ettons into helping someone. Seems like the noble thing to do. Hi there. Rah, what you want? If you go fight centers with Krog, you'll 
look fierce in front of all the other Ettons. You say me look not fierce enough, me crush you. <laughs> Very well then, I'll knock back some sense into you. Gain there you go. Center. How about we do that? Push you back. Bleed. Volley. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So some of them want to cooperate, but some don't. Hi there. Hello, little squish bog. You want talk to me? Why are you just standing here with Krug needs help against the centaurs? Why are you being mean to me? Me don't like you anymore. Well, for great justice. They don't like you either. Interesting looking cave we got here. There seems to be a locked door. Being attacked. My leg for great justice. Now I have a kill shot, fire burst. Fire a powerful shot, damage increases with adrenaline level. Uh, my adrenaline is completely full. So I will be using that uh, soon here, in the next fight. Um, let's read what it says here. The uh, subtext on this sign reads, only truly threatening people may enter. Well, seeing as how I am a noble, I am not a threatening person. We shall be leaving that door. Now... Again, uh, I mentioned this before, but I really, really like the wood, wood, uh, wooded uh, areas here, the woodlands. Um, let's see what uh, Ludlow has to say here. Hello there. Hi, Ludlow. I am Alexander. I am trying to help, but these creatures are positively incomprehensible. I am on a number of committees in Beetleton, so I know how to negotiate. But this is impossible. What are you doing out here? I was journeying to Edwin Monastery to partake in an ale tasting when I... Well, I lost my way. That was a few days ago. I came across these creatures and figured I could assist them. Puff. You're far off the mark. Good luck. Me not, coward! You not understand? Too dumb! What's the problem? No go alone! Me not scared like you. Krug not scared. Me no want fight hoof beasts alone. Krug want fight hoof beasts with help. Can't you unite the Ettons to fight the centaurs? Ettons not like work with other Ettons. Me try hard, but Ettons stubborn. Some no care, just angry. I'll see what I can do. 
So Mr. Krog here is having some problems with his kin. <laughs> Fatty hands, angry, stupid hoofbees need crushing, but Krog want, want to make, make friends first. I all need friends to crush stupid, smelly, stinky hoofbees. Crush myself. You stupid for a human. <laughs> Why you better me? Talk or miss mash you to tiny bits. If all you etnies band together, you could get rid of the centaurs quickly. Knock, kill hoof beast fast if no fun. <laughs> well, how about you? Not, huh? You? You smell like rabbit. That my favorite smell. I believe that you can defeat the centaurs if you work together. You not think I can fight them myself? You're not very nice. It's not what I meant. For great justice. Almost there. Make him vulnerable and then use the uh, kill shot. Here we are. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So what we're trying to do here is help all these Etans um, get together so they can go and attack the centaurs together. Um, saw a traveler down there and I uh, was thinking of going to assist but that didn't seem necessary so let me continue here talking to the Etans. Um, some of them are on a mission, don't want to talk. Let's see here. Why you bother me? Talk or me smash you in tiny bits. Yeah. Kill slowly, you stupid. <laughs> For great justice. How about me kill you fast, huh? You think you're slow. <laughs> you know all this etin hunting is making me hungry. So how about a griffin egg omelette today? And let's uh, sharpen my weapons here. What you looking at? Go help. Me, like having hoof beasts. Give me something punch. Alright. Well. Hey. For great justice. These uh, Etnes are really hard to convince, I must say. No wonder that other guy was having trouble. Ugh, what you want? Go fight with Krog. You say me not fierce enough, me crush you. For great justice. <laughs> Man, I gotta tell you. Hey, how about that? Let me interrupt what you're doing. Oh, that is a very nice sword we just got. Let's see here. I can actually use this one. Mm -hmm. Might use it later.
Hello, little squish bug. You want to talk to me? Why are you just standing here when help is needed? Why are you being mean to me? <laughs> Didn't go as I expected. For great well, actually, I'm kind of starting to expect this. Nobility and these beasts don't seem to go together. Okay, let's try you. Again, he wants to fight. For great justice. Learn staggering with my hammer. Uh, push back nearby foes with a staggering blow. Damage two something. Two twenty six. Knockback one hundred and eighty. Combo finisher world range one hundred and thirty. Um, the main thing with the hammer is uh, bash your foe. Bash your foe again. Smash the ground and damage nearby foes. I've learned fierce blow. Weaken your foe with a fierce blow. So I can make them weaker, uh, hammer shock, smash the ground and send out a crippling wave and that cripples them for eight and a half seconds. So now they're crippled and then I can push them back. Almost for great justice. Perfect it's time to uh, use the rifle at that point. Let me talk to the setting. You smell like rabbit, my, my favorite smell. For great justice. Learn a skill, backbreaker. Knock down your foe. Damage 523, knock down 2 seconds. Fantastic. This day is good day. Nice and warm. You should take advantage of the nice weather to launch a coordinated attack on the centaurs. Me not understand what you say. You make making fun of me. Let me show you. <laughs> How about I knock you down, justice. push you back. Make you bleed. Vulnerable. Kill shot. Okay, how about this one here? Are you gonna be a little more cooperative? Mm, you small and shape funny, but you have good hair. <laughs> how about you go kill some centaurs? Me no help. You think me stupid? Squish you like a hoof beast. <laughs> Boy, this really justice. isn't going very well at all. Obviously these guys not in a cooperative mood. So the only way to deal with them is the only thing they understand is force. Shaker, jump to the targeted location and slam your foe, damaging and stunning foes.
Well, it seems that Rilo uh, is actually having a uh, better uh, my dust. results. These guys just don't like the nobility, I think. Justice. You know, that's what I think. Alright. Now I'm gonna even help this guy kill a spider. Let's see. Hey, ha ha! If me help Krug, Krug has to do something for me. You think of something funny to make Krug do. You do that. <laughs> well. Okay, so it says here. Me go crush puny hoof beasts. No, no go alone. Me not scared like you. Krug not scared. Krug want right thanks. The rest of the letter is almost entirely illegible, mostly just scribbles and primitive stick figures. It appears that Krug had trouble fitting this into the envelope. Still, a thank you from an Etten is something to be treasured. <laughs> Thanks you. Alright. Thanks to you, we've learned a great deal about the mysteries of the God's Lost Swamp. Your explorer spirit reminds me of myself. I still don't get what you want me to do. You want me to make the Ettons fight. Is this supposed to be hard? He said already. You know, listen. You stupid for a human. <laughs> <laughs> as fascinating as the swamp may be, there are untold numbers of secrets to discover. They're waiting for you. Now, go and find them, historian Garrett. Take it under advisement. Now, Ludlow is, uh, you know, he got lost and uh, was headed towards the monastery, and uh, that is where I'm headed as well. So, I wish that I could take him with me. Hoof beast crush, Ettens now safe. Me want you club, but me lost it. What else do you have? Here, looking back. You like, you take. You mean, Ettons don't work well with other Ettons. A bone. Krug breaks bones. Try break this one. Etten nose ring. Etten ring make you strong. Um... A nose ring, you know, <laughs> it's not appetizing. Uh, Etten stew. A recipe to make Etten stew. Mm -hmm. Not really something I wanna eat, I don't think. So, thank you, Mr. Krog. But uh, I shall be moving on. Now there is a lot of Tamini and I have a potion to help me. So let's do that. I'm gonna need all the strength we can get. Let's do some fighting here. Strong. For great justice! Just getting started. Shake it off. Now we can fight for real. All right, I have to recover my health. 
Um, there is a lot of them. So I have to be very careful here. Um, they're running around in circles. So I think what I'll do is pull... Pull uh, one group at a time. For great justice! My ass is who? Seems to me I'm breaking you. For great justice. Loving this hammer. Cripple them, can't go anywhere. On the ground here. For great justice. Okay, doing great. The mini place of power. The voices of the innocents butchered here in grisly centaur rituals call out from the very ground once made crimson by their slaughter. Let's commune. Yes, I feel powerful. Um, I'm looking for something here. Yes, here we are. This rock formations. See Sir William Moran in the distance, and Kitrin. And I shall go after Kitrin. Oh. For great justice, fail that so. A little bit of fighting first. Coming in for you, Kitrin. Maybe you could show me some moves. I might be able to do that. It's no good. I'm a coward. Just go on. I'm not worth your time. Why do you say that, Kitrin? It's the jump to the next ledge. I just can't do it. I've tried. Believe me, it's just too far. There's no way. Just keep trying, Katrin. Here. Let me see what you're talking about. Ooh, that is a pretty big jump. And the fall could kill you. Now let me see how about if we go this way first and 
it looks more doable. And then we should jump the, uh, over here. For great justice, the spider here. Started. Ready to unleash. For great justice. Interesting fight. It is quite a scary creature right there. I'm in bad shape here. Shake it off. Alright, I should be able to collect my treasure now. Excellent, Shaman's Pirate Coat. <laughs> okay. You know, Kittering, that didn't seem uh, too terrible bad. Of great justice. Wow. Now there seems to be more to explore in this cave. However, so we will continue exploring this cave next time. But first, let's make sure I care. Uh, we're safe. I need to find a little bit of a safe spot, and we still have not made it to. We have still not made it to the monastery. And now we are in this cave. Um, so let's uh, stop here. And next time we'll do more exploration. Thank you.